What's up Koi fans? I got another video for you. So in this video I rebuilt my quarantine pond slash goldfish pond. I just wanted a little bit more capacity because uh, I like to tank around. Maybe if I'm cleaning out my other pond I could put my big koi into this pond or if I want to raise some small uh, koi I have that ability to do so. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up on the screen what the material cost was in case you want to try building a pond like, pond like this yourself. Um, also, comment down below whether you like it or not. Uh, my gut feeling right now is I built it one row too high. Uh, I'm going to look around to see if there's a different uh, cap to go around the top. Right now, I'm just using the regular block that, that is built with the base. Um, so I'm still going to tinker around with it, but I wanted to get the video out here and show you. So hope you enjoy the video. go ahead and get the LED waterfall spillway ready. Um, it did come, unfortunately, bent right there. I'll see if I can bend that out with the pliers. But you go to Lowe's, uh, buy the piping you need. Anywhere where you're screwing in, obviously you want to use Teflon tape. And then you've got an inch and a half piping here. You want to build it out far enough away from the, the back of the block. And then you put the purple primer down and then the glue on around uh, each one as you piece them together. So here we go. Getting ready to put the pond liner in the pond. Always buy 45 mil pond liner. Absolutely. Don't don't go to Lowe's and buy the 15 mil. Uh, turtles could puncture puncture it. They could get uh, ripped really real easy. So pay the extra money get the 45 mil high density liner. So here's the final glimpse of the pond before we get the liner in it. Make sure you have a low spot so you could put a sump pump down there and blow all the water out in case you ever want to clean it. I got the liner in as best I could realizing it's not a perfect square so you're going to have some some creases. Uh, one thing I can't do, there's, there's writing on both sides of the liner. It's the same thing on my other pond over there whenever I got that liner for that pond. There's running on both sides. Eventually the algae will grow on it and you won't be able to see it. I did end up putting underlayment underneath of there just because some of the rocks felt sharp to me. I put the fish in there that were in the uh, the two tubs right here. I'm not going to fill it up the whole way. It's starting to rain uh, so I'm going to fill it up a little bit more. Let it go so the fish don't jump out and uh, finish it up tomorrow. Alright, so the liner has been in place overnight with water to allow it to settle. I'm uh, trimming around the corners right now. I'll probably trim it uh, even more, but just to make it uh, enough to work with uh, so I can start putting the other decorative blocks on top of it. Start with the plumbing for the uh, waterfall right now. Notice that I painted the pipes black just for a better presentation. Uh, so next I'm going to connect this into the filter. Um, it is, this Laguna is an awesome filter, but uh, the dang nozzles leak. They're not designed very well, so I'm going to throw some plumber's putty around there and double screw them just to try to prevent anything from leaking. We got to the finish line. 
I may at some point change the caps to something different to get it down a little bit, but uh, just using those for now.